These are the dragons, on their way to the den. There, they will once again offer to get into bed with dozens of budding entrepreneurs. Tonight on Dragon's Den, James Khan has some ambitious plans for penetration. Um, I like the models. I'm watching you and, I, and I'm sweating. I am incredibly impressed by you. Oh, thank you. That means a lot. How old are you? Nearly 21. I really think you're a great person. Do, do you live on your own or do you still live with your parents? Here in the Dragon's Den, the dragons love it in their bitches. So first into the den. 35-year-old Andrew Harsley from Grantham thinks his face may enchant the dragons. I, I just don't know what to say to you. You stand there in front of us. Looking for a date? Yes, I do. You're the star in this show. Tell us about you. My name's Andy Harsley. I'm very strong. Thank you. Fantastic. You know what? I'm in. The den has been transformed into a dating agency. Deborah Meaden seems impressed. I quite like this. Theo, I don't know whether you consider me as a partner because Andy's sending me the signals that I should be banged on the bottom the minute we walk outside the den. Yeah, exactly. There is some added benefits having Deborah as part of the team. I've worked with Deborah before. I cuddle up to her. Assuming you're happy with that, of course. You know, why wouldn't that sound attractive? But Deborah Meaden is reserving judgment until she finds out more about Andrew's potential to make love. How do I get to understand how good you are. Just say, for instance, Deborah, you will get seven minutes doing it. The other thing is, to me, Theo is not going to be a big enough package. I just don't think this will touch the sides. Will any of the other dragons be prepared to enter Deborah Meaden with him? Do you want me to, to join forces with Theo and Deborah? Outside of the den, I, you'd hear me say, I'm in. But the back end is where it goes wrong. And if I go up there with Theo Pafitis, it's actually not even legal to do that. Actually, you know, I've just said that. It's made it quite attractive. For me, my offer would be conditional on, on Theo partnering. Peter Jones seems almost overexcited at the prospect, but Duncan Bannatyne thinks he's spotted a flaw in their plans. Peter and Theo. That's not enough. It isn't big enough. It's tiny in comparison to me on my own. <laughs> <laughs> OK, and who's the biggest? Underwear expert Theo Pafitis has a rather personal question for Duncan Bannatyne. What's in your pants? I guarantee you, by the time you get to the pants, the pleasure is all yours. And a huge amount of disappointment when they're pulled down. <laughs> <laughs> Deborah Meaden has agreed to a partnership with Duncan Bannatyne. But this is business. The number one rule for me is make a lot of money. Therefore, I am selling myself. I'm sorry about that. The news drops like a bombshell in the den. Duncan Bannatyne looks troubled. Why don't you tell me? In pounds, what are you selling for? That is absolutely an issue. How much do you think? I'd say I should get it for about half price, £10. Pound. It's quite expensive, actually. You could back a horse for that sort of money. Does anybody else want to penetrate me for money? Does this excite me? No, I don't think I could handle it. I was probably more excited um, with a certain Scottish partner of mine. And let me tell you, between me and Duncan, this will just be something else. Are you comfortable with that, Duncan? Yeah. I'll tell you what I'll do. I would drop my pants and go out and have a party. OK. I shall take you up on that offer. Happy we got ourselves a deal. Well done. Thank you. 